What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Josh and we back at it again on the Kicks and Bricks channel. So guys, I just finished doing the first of my uh, upcoming Marvel, Lego, Lego Marvel sets that I'm gonna be building. It was the Sanctum Sanctorium. Just make sure y'all watch that video out. Make sure you hit the like button on that one. It was a pretty dope build, I liked it. Uh, also, it's the smallest one out of all of them. So everything from here on is gonna be larger in size and whatnot. So make sure y'all stay tuned to uh, check the other ones out. But before we get started, I want to make sure I thank y'all for watching that video if you did already. And get thank you in advance for watching that video. If you do, go check it out after seeing this one. And hey, uh, appreciate it, y'all. Appreciate it much. So, all right. So now that that's out of the way and that's uploaded, the first one. And I tried, like I said, I'm trying different angles and whatnot, y'all. So let me know how that's working out. Uh, on this next one, I think I might try both the angles on it too, but I don't think it's really necessary, so we'll see. But this one, I decided to break it up and not do all three buildings in a row. I did this set next, and the set that I'm talking about is right, boom. All right, y'all, here you go. It is Captain America's shield. And the reason I decided to break it up because, um. You know, when you get into builds like those buildings and stuff, the details and the small pieces or all the, you know, things inside, they start to irritate your boy a little bit. So I was like, you know what? Let me do something that's a lot more, you know, simpler, but still large, you know, because right now this one is 31, 28 pieces. That's about, uh, the other one was 2,700. around about three to 400 pieces more. But I know that I'll get this one done more because this is probably going to be one of these uh, sets that, you know, you kind of like have to do things over and over and over again. And, you know, like the framework is probably going to be like that. Of course, you see all the tiles, all the same color and stuff. So it's probably going to be a little uh, tedious, but hey, um, I'm all right with it. It's a little break from the building because I know if the Sanctum Sanctorium gave me that much of a irk then i know that the next two are definitely gonna give me an irk so took a break gonna knock this one out y'all so before uh before i get it going let's see uh how it goes and it's gonna be one of my display pieces y'all so let's get captain america shield in front of the camera time lapse started there's nothing more to it than to do it all right y'all let's get it All right, y'all, in front of us, we have the Lego Marvel Captain America's shield, y'all, from the Infinity Saga. And like I said, it's a dope, dope build, man. 
It's a dope build. Look at that. The front, it looks good in all its nice and glory. And then here's the side preview. Right there is pretty, you know, pretty thick. On the, and um, here's the back view. I'm thinking you can grab it from the middle. I haven't done it yet. I'm not trying to see if uh, that withstands it or not. Well, not yet, but I guess I'll try it later whenever we do the uh, the outro to the video. So, all right, well, that's what it is right there. Not much to this time lapse and build. Like I said, it's the same pieces over and over again. And uh, just a little mind numbing, you know. If you uh, just want to do something to say, clear your mind, this is definitely something that'll clear your mind. This is like same thing over and over again, over and over again. And as you saw in the time lapse, I try to do that, you know, making the different sub assemblies over and over again. So, ah, uh, yeah. Well, let me know what you thought about the time lapse. Let me know what you think about the build and the actual quality of the uh, Lego set. Um, I think it was a great buy, from my opinion. It's gonna be a great display set. Um, and you know what? It's gonna go great with the other Lego Marvel sets that I have. So, ah, right, y'all. Well, let's jump in back in front of this camera. Give our final thoughts about this uh, Lego Marvel set and the time lapse, and we'll take it from there, y'all. All right, let's get it. All right, y'all, that was the review for the. Hold on, let me see if I can grab this up and display it, holding it up in the camera. The review for Captain America's shield, y'all. And like I said, she is a beaut. Let me see if I can pair it from the beginning, from the middle. Yeah, so that's what it is, y'all. Captain America Shield in hand, y'all. Let me know what y'all thought about the time lapse and the and the review. I think, like I said, it was gonna be one of those that just you know over time, you know, time and time again, you know, following the same steps for the for the thing. But it was pretty dope. I liked it. It was a little breaker for the detailed stuff for the Sanctum Santorium in the next, you know. Um, Lego builds that for the buildings that I'm gonna be doing. So let me know what y'all thought about the time lapse, y'all. I think this is gonna look amazing as a display. Um, I'm gonna see if I can hang it on the wall somehow, and if I can, I will. You'll be the first to know. And but for now, we'll just keep him and the little cap right here on a shelf, and we'll, it's gonna look that way. It's gonna look good that way anyway. So, all right, y'all. Well. Make sure you, you know, make sure you hit that like button. Thanks for sticking by the video. Thanks for watching it. Make sure you share. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And uh, your boy appreciates the support. And the next few time lapse builds are gonna be for the basically for the next couple of buildings in the Lego Marvel set. So can't wait for those. The next one is probably gonna be crazy because it's more pieces than this, but less pieces than the bigger one. So, all right, y'all. Thanks for watching. And until next time, it's your boy Josh. We're on the Kicks and Bricks channel. Keep it locked in. And then, as always, until next time, holla at your boy.